Insight Numeric's Influx CFD software now comes included with fire modeling. Fire modeling with Influx has similar features as dispersion modeling and includes the following capabilities. This video will briefly go over how to set up, run, and view results for both a jet fire and a pool fire case. With a CAD model already loaded, I can define a ventilation case to run while I set up my inflows for fire simulations. We'll start off by defining a high pressure gas leak for a jet fire case. Inflows can be defined as a single component or multi-component mixture using the included fluids database. Various options exist for defining the size of the leak, such as diameter, flow rate, or power. Here I will set up a 100 megawatt jet fire case using a high pressure release and position it to be directed towards a vessel. Pool fires can be defined using the custom gas emissions option. The fluid database includes heavy hydrocarbons such as hexane, heptane, and others. Shapes of pools can either be circular using the center and diameter method or can be a drawn shape using the multi-pick tool. To run the fire simulation, I only need to pair an already defined ventilation case with an inflow. The case will then be added to the simulation scheduler to be calculated. While the case is running, I can open the simulation monitor to view the mesh and equations being solved. Clicking on any of the terms will show a contour of the currently calculated result. When complete, post-processing results can be reviewed. Contours can be defined for any of the available variables for fire cases. This includes incident radiation, soot mass or volume fractions, temperatures, and several others. This contour shows the resulting temperature of the 100 megawatt jet fire case. Defined contours can then be switched to other completed simulations, such as this pool fire. ISO surfaces can be defined to get a three-dimensional view of a variable at a specific value. Multiple surfaces can be defined in this way with varying transparencies. Here, we see the incident radiation of 100 kilowatt per meter squared in red and 10 kilowatt per meter squared in transparent orange. Multiple variables can be shown at the same time with different isosurfaces. Here we see a 900 Kelvin temperature isosurface in orange and a 0.1 ppm soot volume fraction isosurface in black. In addition to visualizations, results can be viewed for defined monitors. This example shows a series of monitor points along a walkway to view incident radiation values and CO2 levels to investigate if the escape route would be hindered by this fire case. If you have any questions, please visit our online user guide or feel free to email us at info at